number 10, there's a correction that I want you to make on it really quick. So first, a person runs home from school to play video games at 6 meters per second. Good. If they live 20, I crossed that everything, just left the M for meters. If they live 20 meters away, how long did it take them to get home, obviously? Okay. This kid likes video games. can relate. Um, Plug-in values for window finite velocity are change in distance and our change in time. So my velocity, um, he runs, he, a person, I'm not saying it's a guy or a girl, runs home from school to play video games at six meters per second. We're talking about distance per time, every second they go six meters. So this is the velocity, and I'll rewrite that over here, six meters per second. X, or my distance, so they live 20 meters away. So these, they must live like across the street or one house down or whatever, but that's going to be my X or my change in distance. Okay, so we'll write 20 meters right there. How long did it take them? Time? Don't know. Going to find it. I promise. Okay, we've got change or average velocity equals change in time over change, change in distance over change in time. Excuse me. I'm going to plug my values in for my variables. So my velocity, I know, is 6 meters per second. Okay. Change in distance. Um, 20 meters is my x, so I'll write 20 meters up here. And I don't know my time, so I'm going to write t down here. Since we've got the variable trying to find on the bottom, we need to get it up to the top. So we're going to multiply time, or t, on both sides to get to that. So we'll rewrite everything we have here over here. So we've got 6 meters per second equals 20 meters divided by t. Alright, separate this out. So I'm going to multiply time on both sides to get rid of this in the denominator. So I have 6 meters per second equals 20 meters divided by t. Multiply t on both sides times t. So now I've got t times 6 meters per second equals 20 meters divided by t times t. Something we can do real quick, and this is what we were trying to do originally. Let's cancel out these t's. So now all that's left on that side of the equation, I'll separate this out, is 20 meters. And then on this side, we have t times 6 meters per second. So t times 6 meters per second equals 20 meters. The next thing we have to do is divide. We want to isolate the variable t, solve for it. So I'll rewrite my equation down here. So t times 6 meters per second equals 20 meters. Okay, if I'm trying to get t by itself and it's being multiplied by 6 meters per second, I can do the opposite operation there to get rid of the 6 meters per second. So divide 6 meters per second, divide 6 meters per second. 6 meters per second and 6 meters per second cancel out, goodbye Sally, and then I've got 20 meters per over 6 meters per second. So I'm going to rewrite this, my time, and I'll separate it out, because that's just how we roll with whiteboards around here. T is all that's left on this side equals 20 meters divided by 6 meters per second. So we'll do our division over here, so now we've got 20 and we're trying to find out how many times 6 goes into that. 6 goes into 2, 0 times. 6 goes into 20, 3 times. I get 18. Subtract. I'll get 2. If I put a decimal point here and here and add a 0, bring it down, I'll get 20 again. It's exactly what we had up here. Guess what? Same answer. 6 goes into 20, 3 times. I'm also going to get 18. Subtract. I'll get 2 again. This will repeat forever. Unless I stop and I just put a repeating decimal sign or a line over the 3. Okay, so now we've got 3.3 .3 is our answer, and we simplified 20 divided by 6 to get that, so we'll go 3.3. .3. And the units that we had here for time are seconds, so we'll write those in there, seconds. So this is a disaster over here, so we're going to rewrite it nice and neat so that teachers and, and, and us as students can also be able to clearly read it. So I've got T equals 3.3 seconds, and I'll even write up, draw a line over that that point three, just to show that uh, they understand that it's repeating. 